guys welcome back to casey farms the rains we talked about in the last video have come it poured all night long and it is cold here today um animals are doing good i moved the turkeys up a spot you can see where they last were but they're doing good a duck's doing good i want to get them in a more permanent shelter didn't realize it's going to get this cold but i think they're they're good right now i think what i'm going to do when we we're getting this overhang built for the tractor i had all my pallets and stuff stacked up well i moved them over here in front of our outdoor brooder over there um, i'm gonna get that cleaned up and i want to put them in there probably over the winter we're gonna keep them in there we won't be rotating them around we can rotate their fence around that building we've done a video on that i'll post that here that way they'll at least have fresh ground i'll just need to clean out their coop um during the winter a couple times and uh quick update we've got more turkeys and we're supposed to be getting another box today hopefully those will come in so we've got 12 more midget whites and they are doing awesome and we're supposed to be getting another box today when our turkey guy was shipping them out the box he had wasn't big enough for all of them he had to wait for that box to get shipped so uh he had to ship them out in two separate times so i'm supposed to be getting another box today i haven't heard anything yet but if you followed along with us you know with our post office that's about normal we hardly ever get a call but i haven't got any text updates either so I'm supposed to be leaving for a little bit today i'm hoping they're gonna get here before i leave obviously that would be great but we'll have another batch and we'll put those all together so we'll have plenty of them in there for the winter. But when it drops down cold like this and it's been really wet, you definitely want to make sure we've got those little piglets on the ground. We like to spend some time with them and make sure they're doing okay because wet and cold is not a good combination. You can start getting sick and wheezy a little bit. The one good thing about all this rain, morning chores, I don't have as many waters to fill because God has filled those for us. But we're gonna get some of these animals out. We're gonna go check on those piglets, make sure everybody's doing good. We moved the gilts in the last video. We'll check out their area. Um, like I was saying, I don't like moving it right before it's gonna rain, but they needed to move. So we'll just see how that area is holding up. So let's get started with these chores and we'll check in on those other animals and see how those piglets are doing for this wet and cold time. Right back here at the girls' pen. The only one out this morning is Millie. You can see we've got a ton of standing water. Just a nasty night, but I guess you're hungry, huh, Millie? Nobody else wants to eat. I don't want to be out in this weather either. But uh, I see Pepper there. We'll get these guys fed and then check out the area, see if it's got messed up at all. Ten pigs and all ten water bowls full of feed. Makes it a little more uh, time consuming getting that, getting them fed. So the area isn't too bad right now. Um, obviously they were probably in their house all last night and most of the rain was last night. I'm sure this is going to turn into a disgusting wallow. I guess it's not disgusting. The pigs will probably enjoy it especially if it warms up. But we're just gonna check out the pig loo, see if it stayed dry in there. It was quite windy, windy so who knows what direction that was coming from. 
but looks like we got a little wet there in the bottom but for the most part i'm sure they stayed nice and dry so anyway this area is doing well pigs are doing well over here and uh let's get over and check and see how those piglets are doing and it's starting to rain again i'm sure you don't want to see me so let's see what we got here but everybody doing good still it's good to come out and listen um we've had one that had fluid in its lungs before from being cold and wet and had to treat and take care of that i don't know if you can hear the rain is starting to come down on me again but uh, so sometimes you just need to come out, sit and listen to them. Looking at them, you wouldn't be able to tell, but listening to them breathe, you can hear that raspy kind of wet sound. And we have not heard that. So that is a good thing. I want to say we're going on two, two and a half weeks. I can't remember dates. We've got too much, <laughs> too much stuff going on, but I guess I should uh, look at that before i start videoing but we don't really plan anything out we just kind of pull out the camera and let it roll but everybody's looking good obviously their area is nice and dry they can get way back in there and if we have to we can turn that heat lamp back on which is supposed to be in the 40s so we might Jeez, mama can't eat everybody bothering her but piglets are doing good we've been selling a whole bunch of them we are definitely keeping that boar which is that first banded one right there he's turning out great we're gonna end up keeping him and we may keep another one who knows you know how we are but my favorite one here is this little boar right here i think he was the runt he's kind of got a swallow belly that means a white belly there he's just so cute got such a short snout we'll end up castrating him um, it's just what you need to do. It's hard to keep them all, you know, you don't want to breed anything that's probably a run or, but we'll keep an eye on him and he's just super cute. You can pick him up. He doesn't really squeal too much. Um, just got the cutest face though. And he's, he just always kind of reminds me of Eeyore. He's kind of easy going, slow, doesn't really care much about anything, but super cute. You can see they are eating solid food now. Except for these hogs over here that keep bothering mama but they're eating solid food as well but we made it through the rain it's probably our fourth day with getting some rain now and uh everyone's doing good a couple spots are really nasty and we need to move pigs but that just always happens so piglets doing good i'm sure you want to see piglets so that's why we show you guys these so but still going to keep an eye on them. Like I said, I think we're coming up to three weeks. Probably. I don't remember. But everyone's doing good. Made it through the rain. We'll get them moved. Once all this rain stops, we can get to a better, drier area for them. Like I said, once that sun comes out and we get a little bit of wind up here, it dries out real quick and that water that standing water will recede and it won't be around too long so everybody's doing good they stayed nice and dry and warm they pile up in a pile of nine pigs so that's a lot of body heat coming and going so appreciate you guys if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button appreciate all the comments we've been getting and people supporting our little small farm here if you haven't already hit that subscribe button check us out on facebook and instagram and we'll see you on the next video